All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to combine two external drive libraries into one internal drive library. Now, a lot of people, they have multiple external drives, and they go out and buy a new internal drive, and then they wonder how to combine both their libraries from the external drives into just one library on the internal drive. Uh, and that is the point of this video, and we're going to be demonstrating how to do this. So here we go. We have two external drives right here. And both of them contain music, and both of them contain the Scratch Live folders. So how do we combine these two into just one library on the main internal drive? Well, first thing you're going to need to do is pick one of the Scratch Live folders from one of the external drives. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. However, I'd recommend picking the one that has more of the crates uh, in it. And I'll explain that in just a bit. So... Uh, so pick one of the Scratch Live folders. Uh, we're going to pick this one right here from one of the external drives. So what we're going to need to do is copy this. So right-click it, click on Copy, or Control plus C, or Command plus C if you're on a Mac. And we're going to go into the internal drive now in the Music folder. As you should know by now, that is where the internal drive Scratch Live folder is stored. And this is where all your crates and uh, whatnot are stored for songs that are on the internal drive. Uh, first thing we're going to do, though, is paste the Scratch Live folder from the external drive here into the music folder on the internal drive. Now what we're going to need to do is rename the old uh, Scratch Live folder that is currently there. This is the old internal drive one. Uh, so just rename it. Uh, it doesn't matter what you rename it to. I'm just going to add uh, Scratch Live dash old uh, to the end of the file name. Now it's important to note though that things like your, if you use a MIDI controller, and especially now with the effects in Scratch Live 2.0, uh, uh, video, Scratch Live, a lot of those settings are stored here in the internal drive Scratch Live folder, not on the external drive. So what we're going to need to do, that's why I said rename this in folder and not delete it, because you might need to copy things uh, like the effects folder or your MIDI folder uh, out from here into this other Scratch Live folder right here. Okay, so here is the underscore Scratch Live underscore folder which again came from this external drive right here. All we're gonna, what we're going to need to do though is rename this to uh, just Scratch Live. So basically we're just going to remove the underscore from the uh, beginning and end of the file name. All right, so we rename the external drives underscore Scratch Live underscore folder to just Scratch Live now and we put it in the internal drive uh, in the music folder on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you're going to want to put this in your My Music folder all right, so now let's also go back to the other external drive that we didn't copy. Here's my other external drive. And we have the underscore scratch live folder here as well. Uh, we're not going to copy this folder, though. We're going to go into it. And what we're going to do is copy the contents of the subcrate folder. So go into here in the subcrate folder and highlight all the files, all the crate files. And again, right click and copy. Now we're going to go back into the internal drive in the music folder. Now, in the new Scratch Live folder that we rename, remember this is the one from the external drive, the other external drive that is, uh, we're going to go into this folder and go into the subcrate folder in here, and we're going to paste the contents of the subcrate folder from the other external drive in here. So basically now what we're doing is basically we're combining both the subcrate folders. Uh, so now the crate files from both drives will show up when we start Scratch Live. Uh, so let's take a look at that right now. Alright, so here we go. So here are all our crate files now uh, from both drives. The house one is from uh, one of my external drives. The techno one is from the other external drive. Uh, so we have all our crate files showing up right now. So let's close out of Scratch Live for just an instant because now uh, we have to copy all the music files and folders from both drives into the, uh, in the internal drive. So all my music on this one external drive is stored in this house folder. Uh, so I'm going to right-click, copy that, and let's go back to the music folder on the internal drive, since that is the most logical place to put it, and we're going to paste that folder here with all the music in it in the music folder here on the internal drive. So let's give that a minute to copy over. Okay, so now that's done copying from the one external drive, let's go to the other external drive now and copy everything uh, which is in this techno folder right here. I'm going to copy that and then go back into the internal drive on the, in the music folder. And we're going to paste that folder here 
So we're copying uh, the songs now from both drives into the internal drive. Again, it doesn't really matter where you put the files or the music files themselves. Uh, you know, just pick, you know, wherever. Obvious, the obvious choice is the music folder, though. All right, so now we have the Scratch Live folder from one of the external drives copied over. We renamed it and removed the underscores. Uh, we renamed the old internal drive Scratch Live folder. And then we've copied both folders that contain uh, the music from both drives into the internal drive. So we are pretty much set now. Let us go ahead and disconnect both the external drives. And just to show you that I'm not playing with you. So uh, we have no external drives now connected. I've unplugged them both. So now let us open Scratch Live. And we are about three quarters of the way done now. And if all goes well, all right, here we go. We have all our crate files showing up. And that's good. Uh, but you'll notice uh, if we go to the all, some of them are pink and missing. And we're going to need to do that to all the files first of all. So let's click on the files panel. And again, I'm using the new uh, Scratch Live 2.0 version. And we're going to click on rescan ID3 tags. This will rescan all the files. And at this point, they're all going to turn pink and missing. Uh, don't panic. Don't worry. This is uh, what's supposed to be. Okay, so now we're going to use the relocate lost files to update the location of the, uh, the files since it's still thinking they should be on the external drives. So what we're going to need to do is navigate to those folders that contain the music that we copied to the internal drive. As you may remember, that was in the music folder, and that would be this house folder right here. Let's drag that onto the relocate lost files button. And also this techno folder right here. I'm going to drag that onto the Relocate Lost Files button as well. And if all goes well, which it should, and here you go, all the files should not be pink anymore, and they should all load and play. Again, I'm in the offline player. You don't need to have your SL3 or SL1 or 57 or 68 connected. You can do this all in the offline player. And there you go. So all the files are loading now, no longer pink and missing. And we have successfully combined two external drives, scratch live, libraries, and databases into one uh, internal drive database. And that is pretty much it. So there you go. That is how you combine two external drives into one internal drive.